Hey guys, I'm Aditya Madhiraju and welcome to my channel. It feels so weird to say that without my husband sitting next to me. We have a we have a YouTube together. It's Amit and Aditya TV and we do crazy stuff there. We talk about life, we talk about the process that we're on, we talk about like everything that's happening. But that's not enough for me because I like everything and one of my passions is makeup and skincare. And during COVID, during this pandemic, I realized that I really need to do something in that zone. And here I am with a brand new YouTube channel because I want to talk about makeup. I'm passionate about it. I want to talk about skincare. I want to talk about everything else that I do. And I want you guys to know more about how I live my life and what I do with all this stuff. So here I am uh, starting again from scratch, from zero followers, <laughs> which is crazy on this YouTube journey of sharing my makeup and skincare tricks and tips and how I do it. So before we proceed further, talking about what this channel is going to do, what I'm going to do on this channel, uh, do subscribe and hit the follow button, please. And do hit the like button on this video as well. Share it with your friends and family. Um, I already have been playing with makeup on Instagram for the last year and a half. I've been doing makeup on my friends for I don't even remember eight years 10 years but this is the first time like i feel confident enough to create a youtube channel to actually talk about what i like and how i do stuff and that's also because during pandemic you kind of realize that anything can happen at any time and you really need to live your life and not you know like set boundaries or just like fear which stops you from doing stuff that you really like i'm excited i'm nervous i think we have to show you my real face. So let's see my real face first. Okay, so this is my actual face and this is how my skin looks. You would notice that I have discoloration and a lot of redness in certain areas. And I think I have to address this before we get into any kind of makeup and skincare talk because um, this condition that I have is called rosacea. And a lot of Americans are affected by it. I, I, I feel like everyone all over the world is affected by it, but it's not diagnosed because it's not a major problem. But my skin turns red whenever I eat something uh, spicy or I'm in the sun or I am in water, pretty much everything. So I cannot control this and there's no cure for this. So I've decided not to put my life on hold and be careful with the products that I use because I react to everything. But having said that, on this channel, whatever I use, I trust because I haven't reacted to it. That means that it's friendly for sensitive skin. And honestly, some days I wake up with clear skin and I'm like, whoa, who is that? And some days I look a little red. And that's the fact of life you have to accept. There are bigger problems in the world. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about Fenty Beauty. So if some of you already follow me on Instagram, I mean, a few of you, a couple of you already follow me on Instagram. You know, I'm obsessed with this product, not only because Rihanna created it, but also because it's inclusive. They, they actually kept in mind what brown skin, black skin actually looks and feels like and what is the texture of our skins when they develop any kind of their products. Uh, for example, they came out with a line of foundations with so many shades. I'll, I'll throw the number on the screen, but that's overwhelming, but that's required because as a beauty brand, a lot of established brands have not been able to do that. And here comes Rihanna with Fenty Beauty and in the first go, literally nails it. And they have two lines. One is the matte line and one is the hydrating line. And I obviously use everything from the hydrating line because the dry skin and redness. But what we are going to talk about today is two of their products. The first one is Ease Drops, which is my favorite like that's the real deal and the second one is bright fix which just released and i got my hands on it and i tried it and i love it so let's get into talk about the products and how to use it okay so here are the two products we're going to talk about this is the fenty beauty yeast drop i don't know if you can see that yes there you go this is the fenty beauty yeast drop in shade 17. it's a blurring skin tint uh and yeah it just says that just shake it well before you use and put it on your face. And then the next one is the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix and this is in the shade Almond Butter. So I recently bought this like a couple of days ago and um, I walked into Sephora and they color matched and I tried it. Um, it looked great there, but when I stepped out and when I came back home, I feel like 
not just Sprite Fix, but every product in Fenty's line runs a little warm. What I mean by that is it might look like the perfect match on your face in the lighting in the store, but when you come back home or when you see it in natural light, you might find that it's a little yellow. And that's not going to be a problem with everyone, but it is a problem with me because some days I have redness, some days I don't, and I have discoloration in certain areas or I'm darker in certain areas, I get tanned very easily. So I think it's, it's generally difficult for me to find a shade and stick to it because my face changes every month and the color changes every month. But what we're going to talk about today is how well it blends, how it works. So I think that that is useful information and um, shade match is my issue, not yours. And we'll deal with it on this channel as we go forward. So let's get into it. So I'm shaking the yeast drop bottle really well. And it's a small bottle, it's 32 ml, that is 1.08 ounce. And um, basically the bottle doesn't give a lot of instructions. I mean, it's pretty simple to use, I think. It just says blurring skin tint, shake well, and there's French, so I don't know how to read that. But I'm shaking it well, and then I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna use my hands for this because I like the way this melts into the skin. So if you use a brush with this or a sponge, first of all, sponges are definite no with this because sponge will absorb all the product. You use a sponge, at least I use a sponge when I'm doing a full coverage foundation or like a medium coverage where I think that I might have a heavy hand and I wanna take off something or like blend it better. But with a skin tint or a blurring foundation, it's easy if you just use your hands. I mean, uh, I'm sure a lot of you might disagree and want to use brush, so feel free to use that, but I just use my hands for this. So I'm going to go on both sides of my face and my forehead and we'll start with that so not a lot of product it looks like a lot maybe but it is not it, literally my skin is going to drink this up so i'm gonna go in upward motion just spread it all over my face and you'll see how easily this blends in sorry guys i keep looking away because i'm trying to look at the mirror and see what i'm doing oh wow it looks really yellow right now because i was just on a vacation and I just came back and maybe I did use a lot of product, but no, we'll make it work. So that's one thing that we learned. You don't need a lot of it. So keep that in mind, but watch as this takes the color of my skin and blends right in. So guys, here's the product on my face blended in. You would see that it's a little lighter and that's my fault because I am a little tanned and I use the same shade that I always use. Uh, but you can see how natural it does look. It looks like my skin. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know I'm wearing something on my face. Like it blended in perfectly. And uh, yeah, it, there's a little bit of a glow and shine. You can see the right light on my face. The redness is covered, but it's still sheer. It's not full coverage or, I think it's medium coverage, but it is, I, I feel like personally for me, it's still on the less medium side, but it does a good job. I'm using brush now to just tap in all the product and just to check if there are places on my face where I would need a little more coverage. So there's two things for that you can do. You can either use a foundation or you can just go back. Uh, you can use a foundation concealer or you can go back with the yeast drops and like cover that place. Um, let's see. I feel like overall, I love it. The way this blends into the face. The only issue I have is it didn't do much for my dark circles. And this is Fenty's foundation brush, uh, 110. I love this brush. So as I'm looking in the mirror and figuring out where I need more coverage, I definitely see that I need under eye brightness for which we have bright fix. And then I also need a little more coverage on these areas where I do have the bumps and the redness. So I'm gonna take a little bit on the brush. Just a little bit, you can see it there. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to basically dab that. I just broke something. So I'm just basically going to dab a little on both sides where I need more coverage and press it in. I'm not going to move it a lot because I want it to be in that one particular area. And I'm just gonna press it in. I don't think you can really make out the difference on the camera, but in person, 
it just gave me a little more coverage. So it's buildable. So that's one thing I like. So it's lightweight. Um, it can be, you don't need tools for this. You can just use your hands and definitely it's buildable. So that's a plus point. So this is the Bright Fix in the shade Almond Butter. Um, on the back of it says Bright Fix Eye Brightener and then there's stuff in French. <laughs> but it's 10 ml, 0.34 ounce and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna put a couple of dots on this side. No wait. And a couple of dots on this side. Okay, I do not hate the applicator. Yeah, I thought it's going to be out of control, but it just gave me the right amount of deposit below my eyes. And now, so okay, so either you can use a sponge or your finger. So let's do this. This side, I use my finger and this side, I'll go in with a sponge or a brush. So I'm just going to gently tap and blend it out. Oh, I need a mirror for this. This looks good. I mean, it blended in right into my skin and it's super easy. I thought it's going to be really difficult, but it was super easy. And it has popped my eye. Like I, I could see my eye popping a bit more. I mean, definitely I have to set it because with my skin and the creases, this is going to get everywhere. So I'm going to set it, but I don't hate it. it it's okay. Both the products are super easy to use. That's one thing hands down, but I don't hate it at all. It's actually, it did a good job of blending in. That's really nice. And on this side, I'm going to go in with, let's see, let me go in with a sponge um, and let's see how it works. I'm taking a small sponge. This is for under eye stuff like that or for baking. So I'm going to go little taps and try to press it into place while blending it out. Okay, I take it back. I love what the sponge just did. Okay, I'm gonna go back on the other side also with the sponge just so that I get the same finish. I'm OCD like that. It'll drive me crazy that I did two different things. <laughs> but I still feel it's a little yellow. Maybe I should go for the darker shade, but that was really dark. So I just have to try it, I guess, but I don't hate it. I still think it's a little yellow but maybe that will change as I set my face. So let's get into setting the face. Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Honey. Uh, and I love this. This does the trick every time. This is the real deal. So just a little bit. We're gonna open this. And just set my face under the eyes. Gentle tapping motions. I like it. It did set my face. I'm gonna set a little bit around my eyes and nose because I tend to get a bit oily here. Overall, I do have dry face, but I tend to get a bit oily here. So this powder really helps control that oil. So guys, here's the finished look. Um, I contoured it a little bit, used a bronzer, I put some blush on, which kind of blended in nicely. And there's a light flush, you can't really tell and I did my eyebrows. So this is a finished look. My face looks natural, at least for me. Uh, I know this might still be a lot for a few of you and I understand that, but this is the most lightweight and uh, minimal makeup that I would ever do. You should check out my Instagram. It's crazy out there, but I love it. Only thing is all the shades run a little warm, so I would be careful about that. But other than that, it's beautiful. It's like literally a flawless finish. Like. I love my skin, how it looks. It looks so healthy and there's a glow and ah, that is nice. Good makeup does things to me. <laughs> but I, I have to still set my face and I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty What Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. There's nothing special about this one though. Um, it's nice to have, good to have refreshing spray, but uh, there are others in the market. I feel refreshed. If you like this, do comment and let me know you like this. Do share with your friends and family. But thank you so much for all your love and affection. And I hope this journey takes me somewhere where I feel really happy. And I feel I feel really happy that this is my first makeup and skincare video on YouTube. 
and it just feels very legit and real now. On that note, you guys have a fabulous day, evening, wherever you are, and thank you and namaste.